Please watch the video in high quality. In this video, we will learn how to calculate the lat and long of a target point in decimal degrees from the lat and long of a start point, the bearing in radians between the start and the target point, and the distance between them. So in this example, if we enter, we could enter the start uh, point, longitude and latitude, and the distance in meter, you could choose any distance, and you could choose the uh, angle mode, wh whether it is degree or radiant. And you could also add the bearing, which is the degree from the north uh, uh, direction clockwise and then the, uh, once we click the uh, button then the result will be uh, shown here so all that will be done in C sharp and the video will show how to do it and this video is based on a stack overflow answer by David M and I will put the link in the description to that answer so to start I'll create a button right click UI and then button Text Mesh Pro and import te uh, Text Mesh Pro Essentials. Once that is done, uh, I'll just um, just change the X and Y of the button to zero, and change the width to about 250 and the height to around 50. I'll just press F to zoom into it, so we'll see how it's look like. And then I'll go to the text area and we'll change the text to uh, calculate loan lat. And then uh, we'll just uh, change the text size to around 30. Uh, that's it. Then I'll create an empty game object. So later we could attach a script to it and we'll call it get loan lat and I'll create a script. So under the assets create, uh, we'll create an empty folder. We'll name it scripts. And inside that folder, I'll create C sharp script. We'll name it get loan lat on that and then once that script is created I'll drag it to the new empty game object that we called it similarly get loan lat so we'll do that now just drag it in here and just select the game object to make sure the script is there and then double click on the script to open it in Visual Studio Inside the script, I added a number of lines, uh, including using the system name space because we're going to use it later with the math uh, methods or class and its methods. And then I'll create a number of uh, public uh, uh, variables of type double. Uh, it's better than float because we're going to deal with uh, uh, locations and to get more accurate uh, results, it's better to handle these numbers using the double. And so once to hold the start point longitude value, and so these, these are just default and I put them to be in town hall uh, in Sydney, uh, but yeah, feel free to change those values to whatever you uh, you like. And I put the default for the distance in meter between the start and the end point to be 1000, but again, you can change that. And uh, so a, uh, just to enable the user to put uh, the angle in two modes, whether they choose degree or, or radian, so that, that is possible using an enum. So it's by default, it's by degree. And so the bearing is the degree, uh, which is the, the, the clockwise degree from the north direction. And uh, then uh, we'll have another uh, two public uh, variables, which not assigned to value. These are would be the result of the end point that we need. And so they just put them in public so they could be displayed in the uh, editor and the user could copy them. 
And then I have a private variable called bearings ingredient because our measurement will get need the bearing ingredients. So in case the user choose degree and put the bearing in degree, we could convert it and assign the value into this private variable. And uh, I'll created a public uh, of type void function called get lat loan on click. And that function or method would be called uh, uh, when the user uh, click the button we just created earlier. So I'll assign that later. And so we're checking if the user enter the angles uh, or chose the mode to be in degree. We transferring the, the, the degrees to uh, the bearing degrees into bearing in radiant by multiplying it by the pi divided by 180. Otherwise, if the user choose radiant uh, degrees, oh, sorry, radiant angle mode, we don't need to change that. We just assign our private variable to the bearing uh, entered by the user. And then, uh, so we call uh, the, our function here, which is, uh, is it takes parameters. Uh, it's take the start long in degree longitude the start point longitude and the start point latitude, and then the distance in meter, and then the bearing in radians. And so, the, 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 so these the, the, the method used the uh, earth radians in meter. So this is the value of earth radians in meter. And you could convert that into kilometers, but you need to pass the distance in kilometer. And that will just be, uh, uh, you take the, these three numbers and will be in, uh, put the dot here and remove it from here and that would be in kilometer if you're interested in getting the results in kilometers. And then we uh, get the, uh, the the measurement later here in this method will need the latitude and longitude in radians. So we'll need to transfer our input because these are decimal degrees, uh, both the latitude and longitude. So we need to change them in radians measurements. So we do that by multiplying them by the pi and divided by 180 like we've done here. And then we get the target uh, point uh, latitude in radians again by uh, do, uh, using this equation and so the uh, uh, and that's by getting the inverse sign uh, and then the math is, uh, sorry using the math class get the sign of the start radians multiply it by the cosine of the distance dividing by the earth radians here sorry radius and then plus the cosine of the start lat radians multiplied by the sine of the distance divided by the earth radius and the uh, uh, multiply that by the cosine of the bearing in radians. And similarly, to get the longitude in radians of the target point, uh, we get the start uh, longitude in radians that we got here. Uh, sorry, we got here and a, a tan two uh, for the sign of the bearing in radians. Over here, we got it from here. Multiply that by the sign of distance divided by earth in, uh, earth radius, and multiply that by the cosine for the start lat in radians, and multiply that by uh, sorry, and then we'll pass that all for the a tan. Uh, two. So the other parameter would be the cosine of distance divided by earth radius minus sine uh, of uh, the, the start latitude and radians multiplied by the sine uh, of the uh, target latitude and radians. So the, the result would be it's a, a double type double uh, uh, array. And so the first one would be is just the target longitude, but we're gonna convert it from radians because we're gonna need it in decimal degrees. And to do that, we're multiplying it by 180 divided by pi. And similarly, we get the decimal points of the latitude uh, and by convert, converting it from the radians. So if I save and go back to the editor, 
I just need to select the button and as, uh, uh, t attach the method that we are uh, uh, on a click method to it. And because our uh, script is attached to get long lat and a game object, so we just add a, a, an event here and we drag the game object that has script here. And then we select the method by going to the script get long lat, which is here. And then we select get long uh, lat long on click. And so now if I play and going to the get lat long to see the public variables. So these are there by default, but you could paste any value, uh, any values here to represent the long and length and change the distance and then choose whether you want it in radiance or degree and then change the bearing as well to your desire. And then if I click the button, you will see the result is sh are showing here. So yeah, that's it. Uh, this is how we could calculate target latitude and longitude from a start point, distance and bearing using C sharp in Unity. Thank you. Please like, subscribe and click the notifications button to help me make more videos like this.